ready? All right. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to show number 47. My name, all the way from Buffalo, New York, is Tim Pack. I say next to me is Warren Brosell. Where are you from, Warren? Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Why, nice shirt there, Warren. Yeah, it's right. It's, we are one game away from the possibility <laughs> of our two teams being in the Super Bowl. If that happens, that's going to be a total different uh, show. Of us, of us having a Super Bowl <laughs> Sunday special <laughs> edition of Pub Table Racers. That won't be much racing when we talk about talk nothing about racing. <laughs> someone's going to be crying and someone's going to be cheering. Um, thanks for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. Um, tonight's show, we have Liz, Liz Prestella on. She is a NASCAR Cup Series mechanic, tire changer, and tire specialist. We're going to hear her story how she came from Lake Tahoe, South Lake Tahoe, to North Carolina, and a great determination. And she, along the way, to prove that she wanted to be in here, not prove, but to work, she worked at some oil change places. She has a great story. Uh, Warren, we're going to have her on in a minute. We got some news. Warren, why do we have a bucket of Miller High Life? In front we have a bucket of Miller High Life in front of us because we like to drink beer. This is a good beer. It's a good beer. In, in our opinion, it's the champagne of beer. <coughs> it is. A you know, I know that it says right here. It says it right here. Exactly, and it's tasty. Don't put it in orange juice. No. No. And don't make a good mimosa. Uh, and we drink it because Bobby Allison is because our friend. Bobby Allison is our friend, and, and, he, friend hero? and hero. Still a hero now as an adult. I have to drink because if I don't, someone sends him a message right. and says I'm a jerk. I'll have one with you. Mm. Shocking. <coughs> uh oh, first one of the day, like my dad said. Oh, Can you tell? It is. Anyhow, oh, Marilyn from Akron. Christy's out. It was uh, Christie's birthday a couple. Yeah, that's right. Hey, uh, happy belated. Yeah, that we we baked the cake, but we couldn't find you, so we ate it. It was tasty, wasn't it? It was pretty mm -hmm. good. Ice cream, chocolate. I hope you liked it. The garage shop snarky times in the house. There we go. Um, all right, we have some news to talk about. Before we get that, don't forget, folks, we have a YouTube channel. It's titled Pub Table Racers. So if you uh, miss this, you go to pub, uh, YouTube, go to Pub Table Racers, and while you're there, hit the subscribe button. Because one, we'd appreciate it, and two, we're trying to build up like all the other <clears throat> channels out there. So um, all the other YouTubers, all the YouTubers that these kids that are bloggers, blog, and whatever. We're just trying to be one of the cool kids, but we need your help to do it. All right, appreciate it. Okay. Cool old men. <laughs> <laughs> um, the auction winner um, of the uh, Austin Dillon. Austin Dillon. To, we have shoes. the shoes and or one, one shoe, one shoe and one glove, both signed. Uh, as of right now, goes to Mark Young. In uh, Akron, New York. Thank you, Mark. Um, we will be calling you to get the items to you. He's in a nice little case. Nice little signed case. and everything. But he's not going to get the case because nice he's got to ship the presentation. Muscle. Okay. So he can make his own case. Um, so the money raised. Make a case for that. Make, <laughs> I was waiting to say that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the items are going to go up there. So appreciate it. And the money went to the MRO, which is like the church of NASCAR, and they yeah. done. They do so much for so many people, and their business has been affected because they usually operate in the garage. And they can't get in there, so um, we're going to help them out because if they benefit, um, they help so many people in our sport. Sure. Uh, commercial time. This show is brought to you by Lake Norman Patio Game Rooms each and every week. Go see Brad and JoJo there on Raleigh School Road. Uh, For all your man cave needs. Man cave needs. And ladies, and if you outdoor. like bubble top hockey, they got yeah. that. And then they have all the outdoor furniture. Uh, outdoor furniture and patio yeah, needs. Just that. I mean, it might be winter, but you're going to need that stuff. Come. And fire pits. Fire pits, too. He has it all. Uh, go check it out. And it's some uh, great, great uh, items and uh, high quality, and they're going to last forever. So go check them out there. Also, the garage shop, uh, Snarky Time. That's Aaron Brown, a good friend of ours. We work with him at DEI. And we... Um, He's doing some really good stuff. We caught a. He has a documentary. He's yeah, going. he's got some really cool stuff. Yeah, he's going big here. time TV guy. Yeah, yeah. And don't ever win a Daytona 500 with him because you're going to stay out really, really late and have no idea where you are. I heard, like I did with him. Um, Probably Ias. Yeah, no, no, someplace in Daytona. Oh, okay. I, all I know is a lot of blue hair and smoke and grease. That's all I smell. Perfect. That's how I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of place, man? It's a pump table place. Oh, we're cops are here. Um, also uh, brought to you by RacingJunk.com. There you go, Warren. Do your Vanna White thing there. That's good. Uh, buy, sell, trade. You see it right there. Uh, a lot of great things. They have anything and everything you pretty much need in racing or motorsports. They have it. They have cars, haulers, shops, apparel, parts, fenders. Whatever. Whatever you need. Just go yeah. get it there. And also on our website, go check out uh, Torque Clothing. Uh, their logo is on there. Give them a click. Looks a little bit like that. And uh, the owner's going to be on with us in a minute. And also Action Infinity Wear. 
And Finny Actuary, sorry, our friend Kelly, she uh, does our uh, koozies. Which, by the way, folks, we have merchandise for sale on our website. And the black hats just came in. Warren, if you'd yep. show those. Yep. So we have got the black mesh. We're our friends at Stitch 98. So if you want to look cool at the track this year, or just... Make, uh, you know, all of our stuff makes uh, really good... Um, Gifts, birthday gifts, birthday or, gifts. or uh, you know Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. What a better thing to give your loved one right. than a pub table a racer hat tumbler or, or a tumbler hat. or a shirt or or a you know, they could have that on. You could get it before right. the five hundred. They could wear it while they watch the Daytona. And people are just saying, Daytona five hundred. Where did you get that? You look so cool. Yeah. That's it. So there we go. Or you right. could be just be torqued, <laughs> which. Probably will have I'll, I'll be <laughs> for that big race. <laughs> All right, we got a commercial in. All right, news. We have a lot to talk about. News. All right, I'm just going to go through. Uh, start with a big one last week. I didn't see this one coming. I don't know who did. Uh, Track House Racing Team announced that Pitbull was going to be one of their investors and owner. I was like, wow, where did that come from? So I, you know, I'm not up on the new, all the new music stuff and what have you. Mm -hmm. Don't spit that out if I'm making you laugh. <laughs> But I had to look this guy up. I'm like, what's Pitbull? And, you know, when you type in Pitbull, it just shows you the dog thing. Yeah. And you have to write. No, no, yeah, music. You have to know yeah. Pitbull He's the musician. Huge, yeah. And I didn't. I yeah. Don't, and, but, yeah, it's good. Bring some new money in. New, new money, new uh, followers, and new right. uh, um, influence in the whole thing. So, got that going. Uh, let's see. Front Row, Front Row Motorsports announced today that uh, Freight FR8 Auction is going to commit to six races. For Michael McDowell, good to hear for them. Yep, good um, for Michael. Yep. And, I actually uh, seen him at the dump a couple weeks ago. Yeah. After Christmas, we're both throwing our junk away. Sure. There he was, you know. Yeah. He's got to go to the dump just like I do. Sure. But he had a way nicer truck than mine. Of course. That's okay. Uh, yeah, it was a Ford. So was, what was he throwing out? Like, you know, old, old uh, um, I think car, he, car parts and fenders. Michael's and got a few bumping. kids. I think they all got big screen TVs. Okay, because those big are Big screen going. TV boxes. <clears throat> nice. Perfect. Uh, so that's six... Um, uh, two items came out today. One I kind of knew about, one I didn't. Uh, two former Daytona 500 champions announced that they're going to be in the Daytona 500 this year. Uh, Jamie McMurray uh, won in 2010. Was it 2020? 2010? Yeah. And um, Kevin Bowman. That's right. He was a uh, chip. Um, so he's going to run the uh, 500 this year with uh, Chip Ganassi prepared number 77. Two spots. Um, another Daytona 500 champion from 1990. Right. Uh, the the holy shit moment right. of all 500s. I Dale think. hit a Pelican or something. No, no he hit, hit a, a housing, bell housing. They said, whatever. No, he hit a he hit a seagull. Yeah. Dale hit a seagull, went through the radiator, okay. or whatever. All right, it was the tire gun. Pelican. Whatever. Blew the tire and turns three and four, and Derek Coke. The pure later car, the pure later car, and the ten, number ten, pure number later ten. Car. I was right. watching. I was, I was in Daytona. I had money on that. <laughs> That's why you remember it. <laughs> I was too broke to put money on it. Uh, anyhow, so uh, Derek Cope's coming back there too, and he's going to run for Rick Ware Racing as a charter, so he's guaranteed to make through his Starcom. I don't know if Starcom's involved. I in thought, that I thing. thought I seen that Starcom's okay. going to be on a car, right. and that's Derek's people. Okay. He's, you know. Sure. Hey, I got a sponsor. Hey, I got a charter. Hey, right. We're Perfect. Going. That's good. And uh, Main and Tail announced that they're coming back. Uh, they're, Main and Tail. Remember that one? They were with Derek at Bobby Allison Racing. Right. Uh, what else we got? A uh, new team announced today. Xfinity Series, another new team. Uh, big, how to say it, Big Machine Label Group, which is music. Uh, um, Tim McGraw, uh Georgia, Florida, Georgia line. Okay. A couple groups, a couple Country people. Country and Western. Yes. Uh, also, Big Machine Vodka. Well, they announced today that Big Machine Racing Team start, is started. And um, Have you ever had Big Machine Vodka? Uh, not that I can call it, but it's, I've seen it's, it in uh, ABC. It's uh, something 25 I'm times. I'm not sure. And uh, they sponsored the Indy 500. Yeah. So that's good. So they got that. And um, uh, Buford's going to be the driver. Uh, road racers race the couple many races, so they're full time, and will be headed up by Patrick Donahue, crew chief, uh, through the sport for a while. Uh, Blaine Perkins joins our motorsports motorsports for um, part time endeavor. Uh, no, yeah, for the team. Uh, Vinnie Miller to drive for Infinity Xfinity. 
with BJ McLeod Motorsports. Now BJ is doing all kinds of stuff this year. Yeah, between the Cup team They're and all really that. They're expanding that whole yep. deal. Oh, I mean, I, I hope, I hope, I hope all these stick around because we've been through the the Bobby Gins, the yeah, Furniture Yeah, it's, it's really the, good for our sport to have all these sure, all these new faces coming in. And uh, to top it off, the Chili Bowl took place this weekend. The Golden Driller goes to Kyle Larson. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, why wouldn't it? Well, I mean, I don't know. He won like 35 or 50 he, races. Or he did back to back. something ridiculous yeah. in that in that series. Yeah. That, that whole, oh, everything on dirt. He was yeah. phenomenal. And uh, Chris Revelle was chasing him down, but he caught a, caught the cushion and rolled over four times. It was he hit a pelican, maybe. <laughs> maybe he had a seagull or some bell housing. Um Oh, and that's all. That's I'm all we got up to... after that. I thought oh. he hit a. I thought Dale hit a bird. You're saying he hit a car park. Yeah. All right. I'm, okay. Yeah. I did a lot of tours around that place, so that's that's the story they told me. So I went with it. All right. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but that shredded tire is sitting there in the museum. Uh, that Dale hit the tire that blew up that kept him from the 500. Was was there treads on it? I was it a it truck was tire? It was shred. It was the real tire. <laughs> I'm not going to. They tell. They say, "Hey, that's the tire." That's it. Chocolate says it's the tire. It's the tire to me. You got it. Oh, um, you did you tour with chocolate? Well, I, you know, he took me around one time, and then oh. you know, I learned all I could from him. Of course, his story. I can call him right now. His stories. I could too. His stories oh, yeah. and my stories. You know, because you know, I just, I used to wrestle bears and stuff. <laughs> it took me. It took me two days to do the tour of them. I did them in 15, 20 minutes. Um, uh, Rich Bickle, our buddy, yeah. uh, architect this past week on Friday, he was ninth fastest on the chart. And on Saturday, he was 14th. He, at one point, there were six. He said the car was really good. Uh, got some adjustments to make, but um, he'll go back for the race on Saturday the 13th of February. Yeah, it's all about mm -hmm. the suck up. The suck up. At least a lot of guys said they're having trouble with cars sucking up. And uh, this weekend is at Showtime Speedway, Super Late Model, in Clearwater, Florida. So, uh, shall we? Shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, our guest tonight, live here in Pub Table Racers, uh, comes with a lot of great credentials. Please take your seat with us. Uh, she is a tire specialist. She is a full-time mechanic and also has been a tire changer yeah. and a lot of great things in the sport to get where she is today. She also owns her own clothing line, Torqued, and, Torqued. Uh, especially for females. And uh, also I found out tonight, I didn't know there was a men's line involved too. That's very good. Liz Pristello, welcome to the show. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for thanks for being here, Liz. Now, Liz, Liz has water. Liz, Liz has her drink. Liz, so we have to cheers. That's the rule. Show them your here. muscles, Liz, because you change tires. You gotta, the girls got to know what they got to do. Look at that. We got a tag. She's well, messing around. I got it's good. Liz likes a little bit of ink. No, that's, that's, that's good. Cool. Nothing wrong. That's we all like good. That. Liz, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? Great. Thanks for being with us tonight. And uh, so tell us, how does a girl from South Lake Tahoe end up in North Carolina in the NASCAR Cup Road. I'm the youngest of three girls, and when my mom was doing sports and activities with my two sisters, I would hang out with my dad. And my dad's car guy, we grew up growing up, so morphed into I wanted to follow what my dad did. Okay. So, uh, real, do you remember what race, like, what race sticks in your head that you watched your dad that that you know because i always say there's a defining moment for almost all of us right. that said we i gotta do this right the first race i went to in person i was 12 and it was fontana okay okay which, fontana is a different track yeah we were like well that's an easy one you it was when you could take a train to the track all right so we got on the train we went we watched the race got home and but like do you walking, remember who won no <laughs> but you won it was a long time ago. So you were 12 at Fontana. I was at the inaugural Fontana race. It was, I was in my 30s. So we'll just leave that there. <laughs> but It was a, um, 21 years ago. Okay. <laughs> so it might have been close to that. Yeah. That's close to the inaugural one. It's got to be right, right around there. Okay. All right. But so great. Anyway, so you go to the race. Okay. So you, you got Walking involved. in, just seeing it all. And yeah. then the next year we started going to Vegas. And Vegas was like our go-to because it's a fun place to go. My yeah. dad liked the track. Sure. And so that was like our first whole family thing. And walking in and just seeing the track and experiencing it all just got me hooked on it. Okay. And then I learned how to work on cars when I turned 15, which... It went down. No, it went uphill from there. <laughs> yeah. Well, so yeah. how did you, where did you learn to work on cars? 
My dad taught me, and I took auto shop in high school. By senior year, I had three auto shop classes for the year. Very nice. 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 Which, you know, unless you... Here, here's what's going on, you know, and I, I'm, I'm just not political, but you have to want to almost do these shop classes now. Yep. They're not that available at the schools right. that we have. Was it, that being available at your school, you're probably like, oh, that's really cool. I'm going I'm to yeah. do that, you know? Because that, I, I mean, I took shop classes when I was growing up just because it was easy for me. I was like, <clears throat> welding? No, nah, that's an easy. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do a welding. I'm going to do a machine job. I'm gonna, you know, right. granted, it helps you get along. With I took the theater. <laughs> Go ahead. Don't. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Anyhow, that that's what I'm meant. All right, right. So you, but anyways, Liz, I'm sorry. Your, your interest in, 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 in cars, cars was big. Right. Yeah. So at what point did you say, look, I want to be involved with this as a career? I remember auto shop, that when you walked in, like it was more of an older building in our high school, but when you walked in, there's a big poster of senior. Oh, like, really? right where all the big oh, blocks that, were. the guy behind you? Yeah. 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 And so when... We first started with Briggs and & Gratton Motors, yeah. yep. and it was the first group to get one running was like the best of the class. Okay. My first. partner moved halfway through the teardown, and I was still the first person to get my motor running, which I felt pretty accomplished by because okay. I tore it down, built it everything by myself, and then once I finished that, I moved on to rebuilding a big block. Those okay. didn't run because they were donated, right. but we built them next to the big poster of Senior. Got it. And it's like, just doing that, I'm like, I want to go work in racing. So, so here's what's, here's what's awesome. And Liz never had a chance to meet him, um, like our other guests. But this is her Dale Earnhardt Senior story, right? Yeah. This Everyone, is this is her Dale. This is her Dale story. Everybody got one somehow, some way, however it works out. All right, go ahead. Yeah. So you're keeping the streak alive. Yeah. Got it. What's up, better? Hi, Bender. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi to Jimmy. When, when, yeah. when your fellow tire people's here. Um, so during those high school classes, were you, were there other females there or was there? There was about two in each class. Okay. And by my junior year, I was actually a teacher's assistant for the small engines class. So right. I was able to help a couple of girls that were in there, teach them how to dismount tires, how to work on the motors. Right. And since I was like the teacher's favorite because of my work ethic, sure. I would always work on the other teacher's cars. Because the it. teachers would bring us cars and be like, it's broken, fix it. So, like, oh, there's so one. They use the shop class to do that. Yeah. Nice. One of our teachers, he had to, drove an old Ford Explorer. Well, their battery cables are about 20 feet long. Mm -hmm. They run down and under and along mm -hmm. the frame, around the oil pan. They're not fun. I was the one responsible for doing it. So, I ended up missing my second class of the day because I was still finishing his car. Got it. Did you write your note? Sure. Yes. That's good. We used to call them exploders. <laughs> Ford Explorers. Good. Scott Daniels <laughs> says hi. Uh, hey, Bickle's on. What's up, All right, Bickle. There you go. Um, so you, so you, you're there, you're in Lake Tahoe, South Lake Tahoe. When did the, where did the racing part come in? About 16. I was like, I just started doing more and more in auto shop, and I was like, Dad, I want to move to North Carolina and work in racing. My dad's like... At 16, you're telling me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. My dad's like, well, we'll see. Because I'm the youngest of three girls. He has no sons. So. And you're the youngest? Yes. Right. Okay. He had four girls. He had three girls in four years. So. It was a little rough for the teenage years. Yeah. <clears throat> but I was just like, well, I want to do this. And he was like, well, we'll see. So I started looking more into vocational schools and looking at the options and looking at what my possibilities are. And by the time I was 17, I was like, well, we're going to go take a trip to North Carolina. We're going to see the area, figure out where we wanted you to live. You're gonna, I worked three jobs my senior year just to move myself out. Wow. So. What'd you do, what are the three jobs? I was and reception said eye doctor. Got it. I rented see. boats because. Boats, <laughs> okay, got it. We, Lake Tahoe. Tahoe's a sure, big boat not, place. Yeah. And then I was. I got a lake over here, you need a boat? <laughs> <laughs> Boom, done. And I did maintenance <laughs> and bellhop at a timeshare on Friday. Really? So I worked pretty much seven days a week, okay. and I played year-round soccer. Because you okay. were determined yeah. to get yourself to North Carolina. Yeah, and we shipped my car out here. We shipped mm -hmm. 13 boxes out here, and then we bought whatever furniture we needed when I got here. So where did you, when you, you were home? old? I was 18. It was two months after I turned 18. Okay. We you were all in. You were all in. Yeah. Okay. My parents flew me out here. We had shipped everything a couple weeks prior, and 
within a day of me being here, all my boxes showed up. Right. And then my car showed up the next day. So before my parents left, I was completely set up in my apartment. So did you go to NASCAR Tech or did you go all in just... I went to NASCAR Tech. You did. And okay. I don't, you know, I don't There's ever... There's mixed reviews that... about it, but I went through there, got the vocational, I worked at dealerships, I changed oil, and then yeah. I started as an intern on a truck team. So I okay. worked my way up. I didn't go drop my resume at a cup shop and be like, I know what I'm doing. Right. And and I know a lot of guys I work with uh, that went there and... and they're great. They're it's great a, mechanics. It was a great value. I don't. I do not. I do not diss that place at all. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing I say about it is that sometimes the kids think right away that they go to that school that they're going to be uh, on a, on a team. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, from your it experience, that that, no, you got to work your tail off. Right. Yeah. right. Okay. Okay. So you you moved here. You went to NASCAR Tech, and you were working at dealerships. I worked at Jiffy Loop for two years, changing oil. Which well, one on 150? Or? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I was there for two years, changing oil, then moved to Asheville. I was in talks with the guy that owned the engine shop there, so he wanted me to go there and help him. Ended up closing the engine shop by the time I moved up there, so I worked at Speedy Oil Change up there Okay. for eight months, and then I moved back here and worked at Randy Marion for another two years. Changing oil? I was actually a service advisor. Really? Nice. Yeah. Okay. And I worked at every single location. I started in Subaru, <laughs> went to Chevy, went to Hickory, went back to Chevy. So you must have been pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So during those times, like you, and I'm not, I'm just, you're at you're the oil change and the Jiffy Lube and that, in the back of your mind, you're like, this isn't what I really want to do, Yeah. but you're doing what you had to do to get where you're at. How, how old are you about now and all this is going down? I was 20. Okay. okay. All right. So you, you put in your... Yeah. Hard work. Well, I started at Jennifer Joe's when I was 22. Okay, so that's my next question. Yeah. So where did the racing... You, you get your first, right? Yeah. So, so Jennifer Joe Cobb. Yeah. I just... My husband at the time, I looked at him, I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to work at a dealership. I don't want to sit at a desk. Like, this isn't what I've moved here for. Right. So I quit my job at the dealership, and I just started sending out resumes after resumes to any team I could find an email for, drop right. them off yeah. at any shop I could, started ARCA truck, and... Jenny emailed me back. She's like, I want you to come meet my crew chief. Can you be there today? I emailed her. I was like, okay, tell me where to go and I'll be there right now. Right. And I talked to him. He's like, all right, just come in turn and you know, we'll see how it goes. And who was the crew chief at the time? Steve Kirkendall. Okay, got it. And so I started and I was three, four days a week. I was doing everything, cutting sides off the trucks, helping put seats in, cleaning the trucks yep. underneath them, decaling. Yep. Perfect. Anything they needed. I like to I call that you were a roofer. Everything from the roof down. Yeah, you did, yeah. Because yeah. and that's that's the best way to learn in this sport is to is, is to go in like that and 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 just what do you want me to do? I'll do whatever you want. And whether it's waxing it, cleaning it, right. taking something apart, maybe they won't let you put it back together, but at least you got to take it apart. You will know how to put it back together when you're done. And 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 that's that's what a lot of kids don't understand that that you got to do. You you got to. You're you're not gonna be just walk in. Yeah, you're not gonna walk in and, and, and be Paul Wolf crew chief. No, you, you know what I mean. Paul Wolf has to do all this stuff. Just sure. just sure. like you know, lift. Yeah. So, By the end of the year, I was actually helping lash engines. Okay. So I dove all the way in. Right. So and this is the hold on, and this is Jennifer Joe yeah. who has given so many people um, opportunities, opportunities and breaks, even though it was an intern. Yeah. yeah. But you we you actually knew. had her on. Yeah. yeah. Tell me, she was a guest here. She sat where you did. Um, and she's been very good about that. And she yeah. knows that someone had to give her a break. Yeah. And if she can help someone else out, and there's other people that I know even on like the PR and the, the office part of it that she's helped out too. Yeah. So so you're in with her now and you, you're you there how long? Two months before she hired me on full time. Got it. I had went to my first race, which was Martinsville. And by the end of Martinsville, she was like, I'm gonna hire you on full time you know, in a couple weeks. And yeah. Martinsville, we're sitting there waiting for the hauler to come in, so we're all just hanging out waiting to load the hauler up because right. Martinsville, the trucks oh, don't park right. inside. Oh, oh, right. They yeah, park up on the hill. Yeah. Right, yeah. So we're just hanging out waiting. She's like, yeah, I'll hire you on in a couple weeks. I like how you work. You're good. Mm -hmm. This is going to be great. And I was there for a little over a year and a half. Good. And good work ethic. Yeah. And you learn That's all it takes to and you learn be successful in a sport. Yeah. You, you, hard work pays off right. in a sport. And I actually started changing tires with her. So that was my next okay. question. So where did the, so you worked on everything. You said you're lashing engines, all stuff. Now where's the tire, where, where does the over the wall part come in? Well, 
like halfway through the year hire a tire changer they had everyone in-house except for a tire changer mm -hmm. they only had one so they were like well just start practicing on mm -hmm. your own so we'd stay late after work me and one of the guys we'd roll a truck outside right. and we would just practice and he would work with me and we'd figure out how i was doing and then so you had a carrier you had a carrier working with right. you had a yeah. guy a carrier um did you just leave it up jacked up yeah. Okay. We would start it out that way, and then like he would just practice like getting me around the truck yep. and the movements I needed to do, and make sure I could hit five lug nuts. Yep. And then five on five off. That's all it takes. It was Kentucky. You, if of you can count year. one, two, yeah. three, four, five, <laughs> and hit them like that, yeah. you're going to be a pretty good tire changer. Right. If you go one, two, three, four, five, ten, right, you start Three of them are tight. tight. Yeah. yeah. Right. So it was Kentucky of that year. Like I had been bringing my helmet, and they were just waiting for the time to say, "All right, you're going to go over the wall." You're in. So you're you're like the backup quarterback. You're ready to yeah. go. Okay, got it. And so they threw me in, and the first stop was a little bit rough because. So, all right, tell me. So it's now it's live, it's a race, and the Jennifer Joe's driving towards you. Yeah, I was doing rears because I wasn't a fan of jumping in front of the car. Yeah, sure. Because they're going fast, and right. they might not stop. Got it. So you, you're up on the wall, and you remember? Do you remember what emotions and what you're thinking on? Butterflies, that? right? I was counting to five. Just to remember, count to five. Okay, so when I hit the lug nuts, I'm right. only hitting five. That's good. And my carrier, he knew that I was nervous, so he had his hand on my back. And right. when it was time for me to jump, he pushed. <laughs> that way he knew I was going to jump at the right sure. time got and it. that I wasn't just going to stay on the wall. Okay, got but it. But you're still a nervous wreck. The first time yeah. you go over a wall, you're a nervous wreck. It's deer in headlights. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have oh, to sure. get the first stop out of the way, and then yeah. after that, it's a lot easier. Yeah, you want to throw up a little bit. You, right. know, you might even in your... Mouth. Sure. And I, then, like the first ten laps, they're out there. You're like, all right, no loose wheels. Like you, yep, right. dread hearing vibration. Yeah, because you can complete it, and you think, okay, I'm good. Yeah. And then you you wait to hear. Yeah. I did a. Um, what you want to hear is, you know, the front guy come over and say, "Oh, I beat you by two seconds," yeah. and, and then good. he come. Uh, 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 right front loose. <laughs> yeah. You beat me by two seconds, but mine are tight. <laughs> mine are on. I'll that work out all for right. you. Um, <laughs> So you did the first stop, and then little by little became more and more comfortable. Yeah. And within Very a couple good. races, I was actually beating the guy that had been changing tires the whole time. Great. Perfect. There you go. So, I'm gonna, as a female, how how are you received by others in the garage? I know the guys and people on your team, you become just part of the team. Yeah. Once they get to know me and they see right. how I work, yeah. it's normal. But every person in the garage has the same reservations, guy or girl. Yeah. When someone new comes in, they want to see how they work right. before they can decide how they're going to perceive them. Because they might just be there for the cameras, for the meat, mm -hmm. or they're going to be there to get down and dirty and get covered in oil and right. gear oil and everything else under the sun. And that's how a lot of people, once they saw that I was all in, I didn't care, I'd be come out with grease all over my face, and they're like, okay, you're, you're one of us. <laughs> we're good. Perfect. Um, okay, so you're Jennifer Joes, and then from there you go to... I went to Excalibur Pit School, and I trained there as a tire changer, so I was doing a lot of one-offs, mm -hmm. being a road mechanic and changing tires for a lot of teams for the rest of that year. And then I went to Derek Cook beginning of the next year, okay. and I helped on his Xfinity car. Gotcha. Jay Robinson used to jack Derek's Xfinity car. Yeah. That's right, he did, yeah. yeah. Team owner. Yeah. So he would come over and jack, and that's how Jay met me, because right. I was working on Derek's car, and I was changing tires, and Jay was like, asked me, well, what do you do? How do you... Mm -hmm. What are the things you can do in this car after a couple of races? He was like, hey, can you come change tires on the cup car? I was like, sure. Like, as long as Derek's okay with it, whatever. And so I did that for two weeks. Then he was like, well, we need a tire person. So, right, so go, let's go back. You're, 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 now you're pitting a cup car. Yeah. So that first stop, that's a, not that it's, it's a cup car. I mean, yeah. it's like, you know, baseball, you're playing in the major leagues. Right. So what do you, what is your thoughts going into that? So, so I want to ask. Sure. Um, as far as females go, do you know where tires? No. Uh, how, I was where about probably where like the sixth or seventh. Oh, really? Okay. Top ten. Yeah. Top ten. Top yeah. ten. Top ten. Top ten. <laughs> we got lady we tire We bring changers. you nothing but the top Pub table racers top, top ten. ten. That's it. Female when I was tire changing team. tires, I was one of the faster ones at the time. Okay. There was only about three of us when I changed tires, and I was a average 13-second tire changer. All right. Okay. So I was... Pretty high up there without mm -hmm. using clutch gun. Well, yeah, without the guns. million dollar yeah. gun. The clutch guns give you a big advantage yeah. when you're changing tires. Okay. So now you're at 
you're doing the cup, so now you're, you're helping out with Jay Robinson. Yeah, and Joe Nemechek. Joe Nemechek. So, did, how was, I mean, from a driver's standpoint, they're like, I have a female tire change. I don't, like, I don't, we found mean, out I don't mean this race. in a bad way. I, what? Yeah, it was Bristol when it was raining. Okay. And he didn't know anything about it. And it was rain delayed, rain delayed, and right. then we went racing, and then it rained midway through the race. Yep. And they didn't have fire suit that fit me, so it was, it was relatively baggy on me. Okay. And, like, we're midway through the race, we get rain delayed, we go back to the hallway to get snacks, and he's sitting back there eating, he just kind of looks, like, who are you? <laughs> like, I'm in the fire suit to match sure. else, yeah, and right. I was like... Oh. I run into that, too. Whenever I had to wear a fire suit that wasn't mine fit for me, yeah. it's like, really? Wait a minute. I gotta wear this? You I know, just I'm sorry, 240 up, here. Yeah. I gotta, you know, put the zip ties on my legs, and... So, you know. so Joe says, who are you? And then you told him. And, and then he was like, oh, okay. And wow. he just went back to eating. Perfect. Did that's face. good. No, that's good. All right, so real quick, so you're... Um, I was just changing tires, and it was like the first five races of that year. Right. And then Jay was like, well, I need a tire person. I'm sure a mechanic on there. Can you come over and do this? Right. So they taught me how to do tires. I'm going to say, like, the, a ti- let's, let's call this a tire specialist. Right. Because a tire person... Uh, for some of our viewers, they don't know what what uh, the the tire specialist does for a li- You know, they measure them. Um, you know, when the cars come in a, a run, they got to take do durometer. They got to do wear. You know, they got about seven things they got to do after the car comes in and off the track. So. It's not just a tire person. It's not just someone tire special. Who gets tires? And get tire special. We dub the tire special. Uh, I, well, I, I, no, you know, I'm saying we're it's a lot of work yeah. with the with with tire yeah. with tire tire specialists right. do yeah. is a lot of work in it throughout the weekend. Yes, that's a tough job. There's not a lot of people that want to do it. That's because not it's a lot also, of people that want. I don't want to do it. It's heavy tires. You have to lug <laughs> yeah. around and. Bender chimes in. He says, "I counted eight lug nuts some days." Shocking! Shocking, Jim. <laughs> and I explain the lug. There you go. Were well, you hung over a little bit? <laughs> no, no, no. There's some other comments I'm going to dig down in there. So now you become a tire specialist, and you are. So your job entails. I was doing everything with the tires, and then I would also help them wrap the cars. Okay. And so you're still doing track whenever they need mechanical. Right. Extra. Put the vinyl on. She right. said, "Yeah, vinyl." So th- this real quick, this is kind of a lesson. If, if anybody out there is looking to get in, male or female, you just don't show up and go, this is all I do. Yeah. Right. Because the minute you do that, you're like, well, we need more than that from you. And Liz here is Especially like, sat on the lower... On the, yeah. Right. On starting the, from the beginning. Right. Or the financially yeah. challenged teams, which, yeah. I, which is, you know, fact. But your grit and determination and the stuff that you did, the tire, the oil change places, the, the right. dealerships, you never gave up and you just kept going. I give you a lot of credit for all you've done. I do. I, I, I want to say this too, you know, because when I got here in '97, I was building pit equipment, and at one point in time, I'm like, God, I mean, this is the biggest mistake yeah. of my life. I'm, I'm this ain't gonna happen. You know, had, had you ever did that go? Did that go through your head? Like, I've had enough. Of oh that. man, I, I'm just gonna go back home with my right. tail between my legs. You, you, you know, because I think I, I know I I had that thought. Sure, we all you know, yeah. and and. For whatever reason, something happened, and and, and right. you move on and you get a good deal. Right. So, yeah. did, did that happen to you? When I was changing oil, I was kind of like that. I was like, I because I had been doing it for so long, and mm-hmm. I was just, changing oil was not fun. No, like, I did it. People underestimate what it's like to actually work at a quick loop. Those yeah. cars have usually been running for 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. You have to open the hood. It's scalding under there. The yeah. oil scalding. And at most quick loops, you have to keep the doors open during the summer. So if it's 120 degrees out, those doors are still open. There's yeah, no air conditioning. Right. It's a very brutal job. And even during the winter when it's 20 degrees out, those doors have to stay open. Yeah. So you just wear extra layers. And but you, you stuck with it, though. And you, yeah. Because yeah, you, you know, you unscrew an oil filter. And it goes. You know, and, and you, you ain't stopping it. Right. You're yeah. going to get hot. You're going to get the scalding hot oil well, on you. The right. And then you got to take the filter and go... And right. put it in the in the yeah. funnel yeah. thing you, that you got. I worked on a lube rack when I was in my twenties, nineteen. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so now you work are catching up. Then I changed wagon wheels. <laughs> I knew it was going somewhere. <laughs> I didn't say a word. I'm like, he's going somewhere with this. That horse, that damn horse, getting underneath them. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> Alright, so now we're caught up to your your now and then you got into the cup series. Now yeah. you're in the cup series. Yeah. And you went with you went then you ended up at GTG Doherty racing, right? I went to Tommy Baldwin's and Tommy between. Baldwin, okay, good guy. Tommy kinda asked Jay to if he could hire me. Sure. It, it was kind of a weird situation. I was at Charlotte, went to go talk to Jay. Right. And Tommy was in the middle of a discussion, and I was just waiting. Tommy's like, so I just asked him if I could hire you, so find me later. I'm like, what? Right, do I have a say in this? Like, yeah, what right. just happened? Yeah. Like, I didn't know what was right. going on. So you weren't really a, uh, you know, I worked with a lot of guys at that are, that are team jumpers because they're looking for more money or whatever. You actually had someone, uh, the person you were working for, if they could take yeah. you. Right. Which is awesome. Right. It's Tony that, that, and Jay are really good friends. Yes. They might bicker, but they're like, no, they but, go way that, that, That's good. That, that should give you a really good vote of confidence yeah. about sure. these are team owners. You know, how, yeah. good, how good you're right. doing. Right. Good. And okay. I was there with Bowman, and then I was there with Regan, and right. then Baldwin shut down at the end of that year with Regan. And from there, I went to JTG with the 37 when they started the 37. Okay, that's right. So then you were there, and then. I was there for three years. Good job. Yeah. And then from there, I went to Gaunt Brothers. Okay. So, with Daniel last year. Okay, so Gaunt Brothers is uh, now this year they're on a part-time schedule. Yes. So you just found, we just found out today that uh, uh, Ty right. Dillon is going to run the 500. Yep. Yeah. So you got that going, and um, and a lot of people ask me if I know stuff. Marty doesn't tell us anything until the press release is about to go out. Really. So when people are emailing me and texting me, right. it's like I don't know anything until and that's, five minutes before everyone else yeah. does. Yeah. Smart. That's smart on that's part. Mo- 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 you know. Uh, I get that too, you know, people, hey, what's going on with this, what's going on? You know, we, we get it, we'll get it, e- I'll get an email right before the press yep. release so goes out. When I was at RCR, Director of Corporate Communications, we would put it out 10 minutes beforehand so the company knew and then we release it to right. everyone else because yeah. people want to know, like, oh, we're the last to find out. Well, we told you 10 minutes ago, well, I didn't find out the later, well, I can't help it. Yeah. But you want them, because they take ownership what's Well, going and on. the bottom line is they don't want me giving a press release, you know? Yeah. Oh, 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 we're going to do this, you know? <laughs> what? Marty but you know, Roger's going to go, what? There was some moles in there, and boy, if we go to find Well, them, and, yeah. you know, yeah. 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 Was, we don't there was a guy we had at DEI, I call him Bertsky, you know what I mean? Right, yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> like Jason. You know? <laughs> uh, all right, real quick. Uh, if uh, anybody has any questions here for Liz, it's the time to ask them. Um, if you uh, have anything you want to know about anything, hey, Anthony, oh, some Mark Brozowitz on here. You know that guy? My, yeah, it's my brother. I know that. He says, go Packers. you damn right. Darn right. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, Scott Daniels on says, hi, Tim Sheets says, don't get me started on clutch guns. Yeah. With my tire changing too. Sheets it? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, I got What's your favorite track? Yes, Mike. Thirty minutes before you, I'll be good too. Uh, I like Dover as the history of the track. Okay. Because the tires. Go- yeah, oh yeah. Oh, so I, I had to go up that hill. hill yeah. I had to go up that hill. We run stacks of four high tires, and it's five gravel. high tires. Yeah. And they're sixty-five pounds a piece. I'm yeah. five, five-ish. I'm five six ish. So it's like you drop it down, your football run up. Yeah, the hill. in the gravel. Yeah. <laughs> I've almost busted my ass going up that hill too, but it's done. You've almost busted. You've probably seen me. You're probably like, Jesus, what did you almost busted your ass a lot. I'm get up them tires up that hill <laughs> on the trotter track. I remember the one time you fell off a bar stool. I'm kidding, you didn't. Uh, no, I didn't hit my head <laughs> that time. I'm kidding. But I like Vegas too. Just because that's the family track that right. I right. went to you, you for you consider that your home track. Yeah. Because right. okay. okay. there's not really any tracks in. I like Colorado. Vegas because it's fun. Yeah. And, okay. and it's a great. Uh, it's good. Got time. a couple wins here. What? Good, good couple wins here. Yeah. And the garage is very. I mean, not dry. It's right. good for <laughs> the fans too. Yes, it is. Yep. <clears throat> you know, Vegas is that that it's the got, bubble. Yeah. Yes. We're in the we're in this fishbowl we call it. Yep. The only time I don't like it is when they're banging on the top window during practice yeah, like trying to get your to, attention. Yeah, why do they do that? It usually scares us. Yeah, yeah, guys want like, your autograph and stuff. Yeah, right? They usually really? want something from the driver. Oh. They're like they'll be like, "Can I have that tire?" And it's like we're all working and like concentrating, and all of a sudden we see someone slamming on the window, and it, we all jump. We're like, what's, 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 that? "What's going yeah. on?" Like, did something just blow up? Like, yeah. right? And it's usually because they want our attention. Did the dude on stilts fall over? <laughs> yeah. All the performers. Yeah, like, yeah. What's going on? Uh, so now let's get to. Uh, so you're working away, and you talked about you know you wear layers and everything. So you noticed a need for clothing for females that work in motorsports. Yes. So that became 
toward clothing. Okay. We, I started it, well, I started the production side of it in 2017. Okay. But I came up with the idea 10 years ago. It just, the funding has to be there before you can create the product. Right, right. So I started with, all right, what do we need? Because mm -hmm. when I got into racing, I was like, there's got to be someone in this vast sport that knows where I can find pants that work for working on cars. Right, right. It's a massive network that we should have something in. They were like, well, we've got 511 pants that are very expensive, and they're military tactical pants. Right. So they work, but they don't have double knees. They've got, yeah. like, magazine pockets that aren't very convenient mm -hmm. fitting right. stuff in. Obviously, men and women don't have the same uh, body yeah. physique and build, okay. and, and Liz is trying to uh, uh, be more... Uh, Proactive, yeah. yeah, and fit and finish for the ladies when it, that, that come into our sport. Right. Um, and and your stuff is awesome. I I, I looked at your website, you know, uh, before mm -hmm. our show. You got some really really cool stuff. I like the, uh, I like your. Uh, it's almost like a. Some of it's like almost like a. I'll say a Jesse James or mm -hmm. a, or a, okay. or a rockabilly or a, mm -hmm. right. um, the 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 style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, which it's really cool stuff. It's it's neat stuff. I mean, everything. Sure. So we always do something different with our photo shoots. Right. So like my first one was with the, everyone knows Bulldog Customs. Mm -hmm. yep. Justin, I used his truck in oh, Walmart really? shop. Oh, good. For the first ever photo shoot we Perfect. did. Perfect. And then another one I used, uh, Pop Tarts Brothers Nova. Uh, mm -hmm. Pop Tarts Tim Sheets? Yeah. Another former guest we did? Yeah. It's all starting to tie And did Potter do that? Yeah. Potter's didn't, done didn't, every single one. Didn't Justin, J yes. Justin Potter? He who, does every photo shoot I ever yeah. need. Okay. And he's oh. a great kid. Uh, he's a fabricator at Stuart okay. House. Stuart Perfect. House. Now, you have some items here yes. while we're talking. Yeah, let's show, show us what you mm -hmm. So, from the time you said I'm going to do this to the time your first product came out, how long was that? It was about a year and a half wow, for the pants. It's a lot of pants. Okay. So what makes your pants different than other pants? They are made for women. Okay. Right. And I've had a lot of guys say they feel like the old Oakley pants. Okay. So these are the pants you guys can feel and tell me what you Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Yeah. They do feel like the, the old, old Oakley, Oakley pants. pants. That yeah. everyone apparently wants but yeah. they don't make anymore. Right. Yeah. And they have a lot it's of stuff. Way better than like a dicky pants. That's a logo there. Yeah. That's one of our logos, okay. which you can find on all our gear. So TorqueClothing.com is where you yeah. want to go and check all this stuff out. So this is a full-blown commercial for it, but you know yeah. what? That's okay. Yeah, we're going to do a full-blown commercial. Exactly. So if you're a lady and you're working at cars so you and you need something comfy, right. you need you need this gear. Or if you just want to be cool. Or if you just want to be cool at the racetrack with this stuff. Like you can sit in the stands with it. Right. Two pockets in the front, Yep. Yeah. which is similar to the 511 pants. Right. Just more efficient. Then we have the pen pocket. Yep. They're going to be built pocket. for a woman's hips, not yep. a man's. Got a pen pocket. And they have double knees, which no women's pants ever has had double knees in. Right. Because the work you the work you do yep. and everything. Yeah. Wow. I've had a pair that last me a year and a half. And really? I'm very brutal on my pants. How much are those? These are sixty five dollars. But they're worth it because they last a year and a half. And plus the the material, right? Like. Yeah. And they've got elastic in them, so they've got the extra stretch. Little stretchy. And they're comfortable. I've worn them in the 120 degree Chicago weather and didn't pass out. That's good. And, and they black. actually have real back pockets. That's good. Which is massive. Like, I can put my whole hand in there. That's good. Or a big old phone. Yeah. Like everybody does. <laughs> yeah. Or your most notepad. Most pants don't even have that. Or your right. chew. Yeah. You don't put your chew in your knees. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what else do you have? You have some, uh, then you have some cool t-shirts in there. Those might fit lobes. 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 Rob. Rob. You want to fit better. <laughs> Then he got a Philly in the back. A Philly cheesesteak will fit right in that back pocket. Uh, hey, Tana, how you doing? Congrats on the new job. <laughs> uh, it's a hoodie, Tana. Thanks, anyhow. Some of my Buffalo people chiming in here. And I brought two men's shirts. This one is slightly inappropriate to some. No, oh, bring it But it's humorous. Mechanic will always get a nut up. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, you know, that's good. You might need a torch. <laughs> you might need a torch. <laughs> that's good. So that, Fire no, wrench. Is this, a, is this a... Those are the men's ones. They're under oh. the crank tab. On okay, so this, this is something I found out today. Yeah. So this is news here. So go what do you have? Build it, race Build it, it, race it, it wreck it, repeat. repeat. Oh. Build it, repeat. True. 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 What's the same True. Thing? It just has the crank. So crank is the men's line. Yeah. So crank to go with torque. Yeah. Those are nice t shirts, and too. It even has and how much is one of those, Liz? These are actually on sale for $15. $15 on yeah. sale? That ain't bad. There you go. That's $15. Stuff. 
Yeah, ours are fifteen. Oh, okay. So we're not we're no price wars here. Yeah. And this is our new women's jacket. It's a really nice it's a loose jacket? jacket with the logo. Uh, it's all stitched. Yeah. And did you come up with that logo? Yeah. Is that your? I designed oh a lipstick and a wrench. It's a fleece. And it's got like a little sleeve pocket. It is fleece. Yeah. I you put your stuff I like in there. Good jackets. He used to play with the chili peppers. Good jackets. I like the good ones. Let's see the front of it. It has the little torque logo on it. Look at this. And that is how much? These ones are sixty dollars. Yeah. It's worth it for them. Um, okay, we have questions from our viewers. Uh, Tom B, our number one fan, we call him from New Jersey. Liz, is there anything you challenge yourself to get better at during a race day? Not getting frustrated when I get eight air pressures in five seconds, or when he gives me a so set and then you two laps later. That. Me. So, what it, you mean so, by that? Yeah, because I know what you mean. He'll get on the radio and he'll say, "Take a half out of the left front, right rear," and then like a lap later, he'll be like, "Oh, take another half out," or do this one and this, this one and that. Like he'll right. give me fifteen different air pressures in a short period of time right. because something's going on with the car or right. the track's yeah. changing and. It sometimes will get frustrating because I'll write something down and it'll change it, and I'll like I'll get them all done, and then he'll change it again, so I'll have to go back and do them all. And okay. In, in layman's well terms, what Liz is saying is the crew chief is screaming out numbers yeah. for air pressures. She's got to run up to the wall where the tires are on the wall. She's re got to take her bottle. She's got to redo the pressure. She she's she's done. She did it. Right. All of a sudden, he comes back on the radio. She's got to run back up there again Takes and out. undo it right. or and redo, redo it. it or and, and 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 this is happening. You know, maybe 15, 20 seconds before right. the car is coming. Cars coming. And you got to bob and weave over all the guys that are standing there right. that aren't listening to the radio. <laughs> right. So they have no clue yeah. what I'm Get out of my way. Elbows, yeah. yeah. That's it. And you're like, oh. And there's Be, hoses, there's be jacked. <laughs> there's equipment everywhere. Oh, so you care. It's an obstacle course while you're right. trying to do it. And then right. they don't know what you're doing. So it's like you're well, trying to get the tire, tire out of your hand. Right. And you're like, right. give me the tire. Right. Yeah. Liz is trying to do something special. Right. You know, yeah. really specific and, and yeah. instrumental here for and very important too. Tire uh, pressure. Yeah. Oh, stop! <laughs> Mongolian. <coach>. Me, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you have? I only fit anyway, guys. You're okay. This one is one of our more popular shirts. What's it say? Here. Make your own Pistons. sandwich. I'll be in the crowd. <laughs> Make your oh, own sandwich. I'll be in the nice. crowd. That's a big yeah, you know, yeah. What? Oh yeah, yeah, sure. That's a. I've told. That's a kid that can't get these nuts <laughs> off. <laughs> All right. Uh, still or no? Yeah. I might have okay. to have that one. What's, what's give this it to my wife? wife. This one's got oh, the Oh, that's very good. Look, with your logo tied in. Yeah. Very and nice. I do all the designing on it. You do? And Red I just, wow. I design. What and that's, can go better? We have that Jeez. long sleeve t-shirt and a quarter zip. Okay. And, and a quarter all, zip? Yeah. That's a nice okay. t-shirt, too. I'm a texture person. I don't buy no, clothes if to. I don't like how it feels. Okay, I gotta feel good on you. This one is because I've got more than my fair share of gear oil in my hair. Before. Yeah, okay. Love hate relationship with gear oil. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Because Perfect. when you have long hair like I you do, do yeah. and you get gear oil, put any heat in your hair for weeks. Otherwise, it smells like burnt gear oil. And you know, uh, the tide wash that out? I've watched I you. I use laundry soap. Okay, I've, I've watched you for the years. <laughs> Dry. No. I, I think maybe in a ponytail it's once in a while. It's usually a ponytail or like buns right. or braids. I don't, I never, I don't think I've ever seen you in a bun. I, I, but I don't, I mean. The past years I've been doing too. braids. I'm usually. Like, that thing going on? <laughs> almost. It's borderline. Like, I'll be the first one that'll go under there if there's a problem. And since sure. I'm smaller, if they don't want to deck the car all the way up, they'll be like, right, you go under there. You squeeze in that tight little Sometimes spot. Sometimes you're on them teams that no, nobody else You just got a really good compliment from a guy named Jack Ely. She should have worked for Alan Kowicki. Yeah. With your workout thing and everything? That's Absolutely. pretty good. Compliment. That's pretty good. Alan was a yeah. You had to work. Yeah. Now, did you have something special you want to announce tonight for our viewers? I think you said. We are going to do a 20% off. 20% off. For the viewers. Okay. Use code PubTable. PubTable is the code. Anything on our website. Wow. 20% off, kids. Yeah. That's huge. Thank and you. And if you are local to Mooresville, Charlotte area, yeah. I can do local pickups. Okay. Just email me or message me before, and I'll give you the and code no for shipping. shipping. Give yeah. you a code so you don't have to, and then so, I can meet you. So, torquedclothing.com. Yeah. Use the code. Twenty percent off. Yeah. Folks, we only bring you. How much time we got left? I got. Have, I got a, we have ten minutes. Oh, okay. Found something. What? So Clint Leatherwood. You know Clint. Yes. 
Yeah. He he ra- he does his online racing. Oh, that's right. Yes. And he's he's tonight. It was, tonight. He's got our ultimate truck he's, series. He's got our uh, our logo on, on, yep. his, on his truck. Uh, he's got to start in the back, but it's Talladega. Thirty fourth. He's on uh, thirty sixth. It, it, it's yeah. Talladega. He right. says, "I'm just going to ride around <laughs> until the end." <laughs> now, Clint has worked for for Joey and Brad, right. And, right. and he knows how to do this. I, okay. Clint, get it done. Get it done. Uh, and also our other racer, Lane. Yeah. Uh, Hughes, Farms with Hughes. Um, she has, um, she's uh, done another car design, and so she's uh, racing as well. And she was uh, 17th out of 25 the other day. Um, it was a road course, I think it was. But so you know, we're in the uh, we're in the esports. We're cool. We're part of the i racing. I worked with Elena Jays. I helped her wrap cars. You did really? Yeah. yeah. So Elaine is done. Elaine's a racer. Actually, she knows Clint. You are her fire, you are her fire set? Yeah. Yeah. Because Clint was a tire Clint specialist. Leatherwood. Yeah. Yeah. Leatherwood. So it was part of the tire pile. But the tire pile. Tire yeah. pile. No, what's a tire pile? That's a phrase. It's a garage phrase. Well, we've also been called the tire mafia. Yeah. Because we're a very tight knit group. When we Absolutely. have the tires at the track, they're all at Goodyear in rows. Right. And we each have our designated rows, and we always have to work usually in the same area. Right. So we're like our own little posse. We all know each other. We have a group meet that we all talk yeah, on. Yeah, got it. And. I'm you guys kind of work together. Yeah. yeah, like I'm closer with most tire guys than I am with some of the crew members, just because we're always next to right. each other. We bring each other's water. If one of us needs help with something, the other one helps. Who's if the tire mayor? Mule. 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 Yeah, he is He's the president of the tire union. So who was before that? Lopes. Lopes. Rob Lopes. Yeah. Lopes, you got to come on here sometime. <laughs> we'll get him on. We're gonna get him on. We'll have to have, have a cheese steak. <laughs> <Apple> pie. <laughs> pie. 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 Yeah. Yeah. pie. This is right. pie thing. Yeah. <laughs> the other day, you know, he said Sun- <laughs> Sundays are coming around. Ice cream Sunday. Yeah, it was great. Great post. Lopes likes his food, which is fun. <laughs> so it was, and so is there a tire mom? That's Lisa. Who's been doing this for? A really long time. Long time. Yeah, she's not going to say how. Long. No, no, but she's like she's phenomenal. She's watched over. Yeah, she works at Hendrick. Hendrick, yeah. and she's been there. And um, uh, and the Mary Craig started, smokes dad. Craig, I believe. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. Um, and it's just like like you see her like the first time when all of them I go, oh, what's she doing? Because where I come from, short tracks, not so much, but more and more they are helping. But it just became like then you hear about. How she is as a person, the work she does, and everything. Yeah, so, her work ethic. Right. Yeah. So when I see Liz, and I follow what you've been doing and everything, then it, it becomes more normal. I mean, not that it's yeah. bad, but you know. And, the, and you know, Lisa, being uh, probably the first. Probably the first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. She's not like a. She's kind of petite, right? You know, but she's tough. She gets it done. She gets it done. You know, and and mm-hmm. it's it's. What she's done with her career is, is really good. She's always the Hendrick go to. Like, your when tire guy's thrown out. Yeah, well, they're someone... doing... So, we got some comments here for you. Um, I love the jersey. Okay. Uh, it's uh, nice stuff, um, Diana. Wayne Owens torqued off for some of the coolest clothing coming from someone who had several of the shirts. Uh, Tom Bates is sweet. I'll take twenty percent off, and uh, people have been posting your uh, link on there, so that's good. So twenty percent off for pub table racers. Yeah, yeah. Pub pub table. Our, one of our best, biggest viewers. We love Tom. He's bought everything, but Tom, our- check her stuff out. It's nice stuff, man. Yeah, it's good. The materials. Buy awesome. something for your wife. Yeah, you can you can be cranked and she can be torqued, and you guys can you know right hang out, crank your torque, and you can put on your pub table <laughs> racers hat. And put your stickers on some of the stuff. He's bought everything that we have so far, so it's kind and of. And we good. do carry fire retardant gear as well. Oh, you do. Yes. Okay, we so we're a distributor. Everyone's on a team. And they want something they can buy it from our site, which I okay. brought a couple of things. Okay, what do you have? But wait, there's yeah. more. Yeah, yeah, but wait, there's more. What do we have? You'll be a fan of these because they're sleeves that are no melt, no drip. Okay. So they're like our regular mechanic sleeves that we wear to not burn ourselves. Right here, I'll show them. And these are no melt, no drip. So when you hit that scalding hot exhaust or you go to oh, well. Okay, so you know when you're when you're on the road and you're uh, mechanicing, you always <laughs> wore a pair of these because you right. had a short sleeve shirt on. Right. Um, and this 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 will protect you from yeah. hot 
Hot burners. Pipes, right? Hot burners. Hot really? motors. Hot. It self extinguishes you know, itself. You, yeah, you're, you're still going to burn the shit out of your fingers and your thumb, but <laughs> you don't need all of that stuff. You need your forearm and, and anything else. <laughs> He's turning into a hand pump. It. Why does that not surprise me? Back to the theater. <laughs> <laughs> Those are nice. Yeah. And, and what what makes them uh, so special is? I'm the distributor. It's for a group of moms. They started because they realized right. that females in drag racing didn't have any protective gear. So they started with sports bras and expanded. Yeah. Because there is not a fire retardant sports bra. So they're all no melt, no drip. 20-minute time on them. Yeah. So did you ever envision, you're working in the, I hate to go back, but the oil change places, and you're in the sport. I was looking for a now, real quick. I, you're <laughs> in the sport, and now, now you have your own clothing line. Did yeah. you ever, like, just everything you've done in vision, I mean, it's, it's incredible. I didn't think it would be like this. We're also getting ready to send stuff to Canada. Canada? Canada. Okay. They just bought a bunch of shirts to have in their store in Good. Ontario. Really? Yeah, he runs Pro Sport Fan Shop. Okay. He also is involved with a couple tracks up there, too. Okay. So, we're expanding. Hey, good. Maybe good we can you. help. Maybe we should talk to him and get some our stuff in there. Um, <laughs> you can have yours, so we can have ours. So, Liz, hard work, hard work pays off, doesn't it? Yes. yes. And, yeah. and, uh, kiss it. and, um, and persistence. Yeah. And determination. Very good. Um, it's, we are more to know this. My mom caught the joke, emu. Remember the emu from the old... <laughs> Yeah. The old TV show? Yeah. And then, okay, good. So she caught it, of course. <laughs> yeah. That was a joke. Um, any advice, as we, we got a couple minutes here, any advice you want to give to anybody out there, uh, maybe even like to the females that think, gee, I want to get in racing, but I don't know if there's a place for me? And you've start proved. Small. You've proved that there's a place for it. So start small. Email arc teams, truck teams, right. late model teams, sprint car teams. Work for free, maybe. Drag racing teams. <laughs> yeah. One of my ambassadors is actually a clutch specialist for a top fuel car. Okay. And she's one of, there's a lot of females over on the drag racing side. Mm -hmm. So it's like, whatever your thing is, she didn't know until they offered her a job because she had a CDL. It was just announced really? today that there's going to be an all female uh, run and, and, IndyCar? IndyCar. Huh. Yeah. Uh, I think the whole pit crew and really? the whole thing. Friends over there. You do? The pants are actually in the IndyCar series. Well, you, wow. you know, when, when we were, uh, when, when I knew we were having you on and that came out today, I was thinking about it. I'm like, Liz is going to go over there and, and jump ship and help them people out because yeah. she sure. probably could bring a lot to the table. Yeah. The head of Firestone, Car Adams, yeah. she actually wears my pants. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, so you're Boom, that's you're right. a mini car. That's very good. I did a wine and ornaments with a bunch of the IndyCar girls for okay. Christmas through car. Okay, very good. Nice. Need some connection. <clears throat> so the advice is start small. And learn everything. Learn everything. I can do every single thing on the car except for drive it because I'm a little too happy when it comes to dropping clutch. <laughs> gotcha. So I just, I tend right. to avoid that so I don't tear any clutches up. Perfect. But a little I fab work ever? Yeah. Oh, you know. I can fab work? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love the fab You do welding. I like it. I need more practice on it because I only get we to all do. once a year. I can't see anymore. But once you're 50, you can't see shit. Can't I do body work. I do pretty much everything. I was the only one that you're took a roof box over the roof off season. Yeah, the roof down. So that's what I'm saying. So you need to make yourself available yeah. to do multiple things if you're going to, especially now when they, you know, there's not as many the way people going. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. need to say, okay, I can do this, this, and this. And I can also help with that. You know I'm also mean? the backup tire changer if someone ever goes down during the race because with the roster limits, we don't have spare pickup. Oh, that's right, right. Exactly. So that's if the right. tire oh, changer yeah. goes down, I have a fire suit and hauler that they'll go grab so I can go change tires. Perfect. Helmet and everything, you're ready to go. Yeah. Good gosh. Um, well, the bell tolls. The bell to whom the bell tolls. I'm taking the last beer out of the bucket. Shocking. Because you've never done that before. Liz, thank you so much for being on. We appreciate thank you. you. Uh, Great story. Toyclothing.com. Go on, 20% discount, uh, pub tables the code. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, you've been a great guest, and we got a lot of interest, and uh, good luck to you this year, and uh, we'll see you at the track. Shall we say it? Hopefully I get to go. Yeah, say goodnight, Dick. Good night, Dick. There you go. Good night, everybody. We'll say see you next night, week. Liz. Thank you. Say goodnight, Liz. Good see you we'll next week. Say goodnight, Liz. YouTube channel. Um, go to YouTube, Pub Table Racers. Hit the subscribe. We're also on Spotify, Apple. Google Podcast, uh, Breaker, I mean, just go check us out, uh, Radio Public, so that's it. 
and uh, we will see you guys next week. Thank you. Wow. Hey, another great show. Great Thank show. you so much, everybody, yeah, for tuning in. It. We appreciate it. We do this every Tuesday night, and Warren, I think the guests we've had have been fantastic. Phenomenal. And the people that are following us, we appreciate it. We're reaching 42,000 people a month. Can you believe that? And uh, we appreciate you watching. Right. And, uh, We're having fun. I hope everybody else enjoys it. That's it. It's just a fun show. Bucket of beer. Guys sitting around talking about it. So keep tuning in. We appreciate it. Check out our store and everything. But, um, we appreciate you people. And uh, we will see you next week. Right, my friend? Yes, sir. All right. See you next week.